Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Keyshot Studio webinar on Python scripting. My name is Don Tuttle. I've been the Keyshot Global Training Specialist for about three years now, and I'm excited to be here today with Ted Christensen, who has been scripting with Keyshot longer or long before AI became a part of the picture. Um, today, we'll walk through the history of Keyshot scripting and get the latest tips and techniques, especially for those of you who are looking to automate your workflow or speed up your process. Ted, please take a moment to introduce yourself. Hi, Don. Hi, everyone. I'm Ted Christensen. And as Don said, I've been scripting uh, in Keyshot since 2017, uh, when I met the team down at a conference and got excited about scripting. And um, I'm happy to share some of the uh, trials and tribulations that I've experienced uh, using Keyshot and scripting in particular uh, because of the use cases that I specialize on, particularly um, high volume, high production, uh, high fidelity catalog environments uh, for complicated products. And so this may not be for everyone who has that, uh, uh, may not have that in their workflow, but uh, for me, uh, scripting has been an imperative uh, to learn. And so by hook or by crook, I taught myself to uh, program in uh, a few languages, primarily Python, and uh, then have been uh, trying to use that skill to improve my workflows and productivity and make it possible to do large scale projects that uh, otherwise uh, couldn't be done by a small team. And so with that, uh, Don, you can take over. Great. You, you know, we, we've got a wide range of users here today, so don't feel like that you have to uh, appeal to any certain audience. Um, our goal is to really give our audience the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Um, that background on Python and those challenges and ways that we can best uh, have our best workflow and um, best practices as well. Um, so you've been scripting with Keyshot for a while. Uh, can you share a bit on the history, some of the things that you learned initially? You mentioned that you had to teach yourself uh, Python while you were doing it, or did you know Python before you started uh, working with Keyshot Python? Well, it's, it's a great question um, for someone who is not formally trained in computer science. Um, I, I've been... I started out basically as a an Excel macro uh, person uh, in my business endeavors. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life since I was a kid, basically. And so learning how to use computers and applications to do productive work uh, for my business endeavors has been the primary reason. And I found out that while when I got into um, you know Excel and then into Microsoft Visual uh, Basic for applications, automating Excel uh, applications even more for business, I wanted to take that to the next level. So I I looked around at all the different languages and did a lot of work um, investigating kind of all the common uh, languages that people talk about: the HTML, the CSS, and PHP for the web development work and that sort of thing. But I settled on Python because number one, it was easier for me to digest as a non-computer uh, science trained person. And uh, I figured that instead of trying to learn all these different languages a little bit, I would go very deep on Python. And I'm glad I did that. And for those of you who you know, are thinking about scripting in Keyshot or thinking about learning a computer language, um, I can't emphasize enough the importance of trying to learn one language well uh, instead of trying to do a little bit on everything. Because what I found with, with Python in particular, because it's an object-oriented language, 
even though it isn't as performant as, uh, say, Java for large enterprise scale applications. Uh, if you learn Python well, it's much easier to grasp all the other languages and you can pick up the concepts and you know, the, the, uh, the various aspects of other languages that are compiled and force you to take extra steps to do productive work uh, much more easily. So um, I want to encourage everyone who's watching to, you know, just don't worry about learning everything. Just, just uh, indulge yourself in Python and you'll be happy about it. Uh, so. Yeah, I think I can echo that as well. Uh, I'm still not necessarily proficient in it. I probably couldn't write a script to save my life. I can read it okay. Um, and <laughs> like yourself, I don't have a, uh, a computer science degree background, but I did actually go to school for multimedia. So, you know, way back in the day, I had some uh, director lingo scripting. We used to have to also uh, write HTML by hand. <laughs> because our instructors wouldn't allow us to uh, do it any other way. Of course, the WYSIWYGs were just coming out then, but um, throughout my, my career, I always ended up, you know, maybe using some kind of code, whether it's uh, Maya Mel scripting or um, something like Python once a year. And then the following year when I needed to do it again, I'd forget everything. So um, it, it's been a constant relearning process for myself. But uh, since really diving into Python in the past two years, uh, I've gotten very comfortable inside there. Um, that said, I'm, I'm not an expert um, and I don't, I'm still learning, right? A lifelong learning. So um, it, it's really cool to uh, hear, you know, your experience and, and where you're coming from. What do you think were the biggest challenges back then and, and what's easier now um, for you? Well, getting started, I mean, uh, again, I had, I wasn't completely uh, uh, unfamiliar with some of the programming concepts uh, that I'd learned uh, with the, you know, automating Excel and coming up that route because I don't have a background as a graphic designer or a multimedia person either uh, my, my formal training was in accounting, if you can believe it. And, uh, but I just, uh, couldn't see myself doing accounting for the rest of my life with no disrespect to the accountants out there. I know the language of accounting and the language of finance, but I've used that again for my, uh, entrepreneurial pursuits more than, uh, to, you know, balance my own checkbook, which is still a challenge. But, um, in any event, the, the challenge on, learning Python or any language, I think the key factor for any uh, attacking any language is having a project in mind that you are frustrated with because it's taking too many steps to complete. And it, obviously we're talking about Keyshot here, but so for Keyshot users who do the sorts, you know, have workflows where there's a lot of repetitive steps, either in the rendering pipeline or in the setup pipeline, or file importing and setup and manipulation of objects, uh, uh, getting them into your system. Uh, anything that you have to do over and over again is, you know, a, a great starting point for learning not only Keyshop scripting, but for Python. Because if you're not motivated to solve a problem, it's much harder to learn. And uh, this is not just advice. Uh, from me, but from other people who teach uh, Python or other language, you know, programming language courses, it's so much easier to wrap your head around concepts uh, if you're trying to solve a real business problem or a real, you know, a graphics problem that you're facing every day in your workflow. Yeah, I, I know that there's a lot of things that um, I've scripted because they are repetitive. Um, and, you know, th there can be some users who are already pretty fast and proficient inside of Keyshot, and they're looking for another way to speed things up. And, uh, you know, I kind of considered myself uh, one of those users. And I found that the only way I was going to get 
really faster was by automating a lot of the uh, processes, uh, like what you mentioned, uh, batch importing, uh, things like assigning material templates and uh, maybe renaming some of the parts and materials in your scene, right? right. Um, you know, one of the things that I think comes up a lot, especially for the experienced Python developers, um, is that it's Keyshot Python's not exactly the same as traditional Python. For example, we've got certain data types, like how Keyshot handles lists versus um, single strings that can trip people up.